Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, it's Boxing Day today. Hope everyone had a great Christmas. Um, I did myself, I had a great Christmas, me and my family. Um, good food, good presents, good company, everything was great. Better than I deserve. Um, one of the gifts I got, and one of the ones I asked for, was this, here, I'll spin it around for you. It's a great neck, half inch, cordless impact. And the reason I picked this one, and everybody's screaming right now, why oh, didn't you get a Milwaukee? Um, just about everything I do, I do in the garage. I use my compressor and numerous impacts, air impacts that I have. 99% um, of the time I use the uh, Astro Pneumatics Onyx 3.8 drive. Does just about everything I want. If that doesn't do it, the snap on half inch drive will. So the reason I wanted a cordless impact was to keep in the car. Um, working on my own vehicle, you know, emergency situations, having to change a, spa a flat tire or helping someone else at the side of the road when I've stopped before. And for that, I didn't want to spend, I know in, in, in the United States, you guys are saying, well, you probably could have picked up a Milwaukee for two, 300 bucks, not in Canada. Um, the least I would have paid would have been 500 bucks, usually 600 bucks with a battery and charger. Um, this was 50 bucks at Princess Auto. So I will open it up. I opened it up inside, of course, when I first got it, and I saw it. I was the one that told my wife to go get it. And it's a 24 volt battery charger. I have not charged it. So I will split this video in two and show you. We'll put that on there. I, I don't even know, to be honest, if this battery has any charge in it whatsoever. So we'll just snap that into the drill here. Drill. Impact. She's a heavy beast. Don't know exactly what she weighs, but I don't know. I'm going to guess five pounds. Uh, that's what I'd guess. And it comes with, it looks like it should come with impact sockets, but none of them did. Um, doesn't matter. It's not like I'm short on sockets, that's for sure. Open up the instructions here. 24 volt cordless impact wrench, great neck, instruction manual. Blah, 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 work area, electric safety, turns in use. We don't need no safety. Safety is for pussies. Okay, voltage, DC, 24 volt, load, no load speed, 2000 RPM, max torque, 200 foot pounds. Should be fine for what I need. Charge time, six to eight hours. Whoa, that's a long time. Doesn't matter. It's not like it's something I'm going to constantly use. Uh, blah, 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 charger, can ship low charge condition. Prevent. Okay, so it is dead. Um, charging, charging procedure, blah, 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 charge power, punch, bad rug, make sure the pack's fully seated, blah, 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 six to eight hours, I believe, blah, 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 important charging, no as long as they can battery charge when air temperatures between, fine, good, normal shit. Um, how to put the battery on, if you don't know that, then you shouldn't be using this. Okay, just all simple stuff. I will see what it has on it. I've got this flip socket and a torque wrench to try out. I know my wheels on my Santa Fe here are torqued to 80 foot pounds. Oh, that's tightening. So let's just give it a shot here with the, the somewhat dead battery to see how she goes. Well, we got them off right before it died. And somewhat snug them back up. So that's with a virtually dead battery. So it's, I'm happy that it will take, hold on a sec. That it will take off. See the charger has a green light. Stick the battery in the battery on thusly. And the red light comes on and when it's charged, the green light will come on. Um, so let's just, out of curiosity here, hold on a second. I'll just stop you right here and I will check the wheels with the torque wrench to see how tight that put them back on with the dead battery. All right, be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I let it charge for roughly six hours. Put the battery on. This is a fairly heavy beast. Let's see if it'll break my lug nuts loose. 
and these are, I checked them with the torque wrench. These are at 60, or no, sorry, 60, 80 foot pounds. Why does that feel like it's tightening? Because it is, okay. Let's try that loose thing now. Loose. Easy peasy. Well, loosens them no problem. Just snug. I'll just snug these back up. And there you go. It did that with no appreciable loss in power or anything. So that's all I want. That's all I want it for. I'm not going to be taking off multiple wheels. Just something to keep in the car for if I get a flat at the side of the road. And again, I didn't want to be spending 500 bucks on a Milwaukee fuel to sit in my car for 99% of its life and not be used. So this will suffice for the lug nut spirit. Um, what a curiosity here. Let me try something. Let's put that. Tighten that up. Keep the impact. And then let's just see how tight it puts it on. Hold on, I will set you right here while I get the torque wrench ready to check it. There we go, that there is 80 foot pounds. Okay, my hand over the camera here. There we go. Get it on there. Okay, let's see. Well, it did it at least 80 foot pounds. Wow, there you go. She works. So for like $50, it's the Great Neck 24 volt cordless half inch impact wrench. Uh, there's a number there too, you can see it. I can't even see that without my glasses. 80165. Um, yeah, comes with the charger. I put these sockets in here if this is a 19. 21 or 13 16 and three quarter inch, same thing. Um, come with instructions, little bloom of the case. And that's about it. So, yeah, she works. Tested with the torque wrench. Uh, maybe at another time I'll try it with see how many lugs it'll go before it runs out of juice. But if it'll manage to do five and put them back on, then I'm happy. That's it. Thanks for watching. Take care. I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas. And thank you for everyone who commented on my, my Merry Christmas video. Um, it was great to hear from everyone. Again, that's what, I, that's what I love about this, is talking to the people. So thanks. Have a great day.